guys welcome back or welcome to my channel so today we are continuing on the London Paris content I was not gonna make a video about this but I was showing my friends how I packed for London and Paris because surprisingly two of my closest friends are literally going to London and Paris and they're like what did you do exactly like how did you plan your outfits so showing them my little PDF and they were like Mallory you have to put this on your YouTube channel it is so genius so I was like okay let me just showcase how extra I can be and I really don't think I'm a type A personality and then things like this happen and I'm like maybe I am a type A personality so hello if you're new here I work in fashion and I thrift a lot on my YouTube channel it's kind of my side hobby I have a full-time job in the New York fashion industry so I'm really in it when it comes to fashion and I love posting content on YouTube and on Instagram and taking photos and outfit pics and stuff like that but if you're here because you are overwhelmed when packing I'm here to help so today's video will be First of all, what I plan to pack and how I laid out my outfits and put little content with it. Two is going to be what I actually packed versus what I didn't pack and why I didn't pack certain things and why I did pack certain things. And then in my next video, you'll see all of my outfits tried on with all the links and everything going on. So part one of two, packing for Paris, prepping for Paris, all those good things and how I did it and really digging into the organization of it all the behind the scenes if you will I did a vlog of every single place that I went I also did a video about thrift with me so it was like thrifting in London and Paris and shopping as well because we obviously did all of the things and then there's those two separate videos so check those videos out after this if you are interested in London and Paris and hey hi if you haven't subscribed yet and you're interested in thrifting shopping living in New York working in the fashion industry vlogs days in my life hello be my friend let's subscribe let's do it right now we have goals to hit and I am, I'm going to hit them. Okay. So subscribe. I would love that. And I will say this took me a little less time because I already linked my outfits and I love a flat lay, like, which is where the photo is laying flat and the photographer takes a picture of it. And it's like a white background and you can on Canva background remove. And that's why I make little collages of my outfit. So I kind of already had these. And so it didn't take me that long to like find the images and background remove and all that. So keep that in mind. This is why it only took me one night, but I think it's really genius and it helps me in my just day to day anyway so if you're someone that never feels like they can find anything to wear I literally suggest making your clothes like paper dolls you know and doing it on Canva and it is just game changing okay boom I have my handy dandy laptop London packing and see how much I love Canva it's just like my life okay I would say three to four weeks before we decided where we wanted to go reservation wise but we had spent months leading up to it searching on TikTok late nights like scrolling through vloggers I have a really good friend who loves to do restaurants and like knows all the cutest little cocktail places and we are very similar so I knew we had to go hit the spots up that she liked and I just basically went through all her stories like influencers love to do a highlight and they tag everywhere they went so if you like have influencers that you like that seem to go to places that you like often I would highly suggest just stalking them screenshotting all their stuff and uploading them to canva so that's how i picked up where to go so then i had an itinerary and from the itinerary on i know what we're doing specific days so what will i wear that day and my sister did the opposite friends she said oh these are good basics i can mix and match who knows what i'll wear she did not prep so much and ended up wearing the same clothes all the time and she was like i didn't even wear half the stuff i brought and i was like yeah because you didn't pre-plan you gotta pre-plan ladies and gentlemen so we pre-planned like this. I knew we were going to the Red Room for drinks as soon as I landed. So I had done stocking on Pinterest and things like that, screenshotting outfits that I thought were chic and cool and gave London vibes of things that I knew I had in my closet. And then next to that, I planned like how I would pose for a photo because obviously Pixar didn't happen. And also this is kind of my hobby and thing I love to do is take photos of my outfits. So I had my, you know, night one outfits. And then the day after that, I knew we were going to walk around the, in the morning and go to like the Big Ben maybe and get coffee and stuff. We ended up not doing that until the next day. So things changed, right? Like you make plans, but while you're making plans, God is making new plans. What is that saying? Whatever, who cares? So these were just like the initial outfits before I even fully opened my suitcase, unzipped and put them in. Okay. So the next one, I knew I wanted a really good photo with the telephone booth. So I had that outfit planned and then I had tea time. I knew exactly what I wanted to wear that for that thrift shopping and training to Paris. Those things I just like had outfits that I have worn in the past that I like. So I had those things like in my head, but I wasn't really married to those ideas. The next slide, Paris night one cafe, sparkly Eiffel tower. I had more casual outfit than for Versailles. I had two options because I wasn't sure what I was going to want to do for that 
that day because I know it's a lot of walking but it's also kind of fancy so I was like well I could either do a skirt vibe or I could do a jeans vibe and then I had some inspo pictures for photos and then I had like an idea for fancy shopping day I think we ended up just shopping all in one day and had a lot more like tourism time and then I had like a drinks if we go out that night after Versailles but I wasn't sure if we would be tired from like traveling and then we had another day in the Marais area we knew we would walk around kind of by our hotel and then I knew we had a last night in Paris and we were gonna go to dinner or speakeasy or something like that. So those were kind of my outfits. So I had my initial packing list here, which was like all of the things. And I thought to myself, well, I probably don't need four jackets. What can I get rid of? Oh, I had two blue button downs. Don't really need both plus a white one. So I'll pick one blue one and then stick to that. So then you see on my real packing list what I actually went for. And then next to that is the rejected list. So the reasons I didn't bring some of these items is because when I tried my outfit on, because I did try on certain outfits that I was like, I'm going to the Eiffel Tower to see it sparkle that night. I'm not having the jacket like be unproportional when I first tried it on in my London Paris hotel and I cannot get the pick I want. So I tried on an outfit and my leather jacket was too short. So I tried on a blazer that was better. That was also leather and I thought could also be worn more dressy if we needed to, you know, last minute we decided we wanted to get drinks at night or we wanted to do something that was like a little more nighttime. I had like a nighttime jacket and then I also decided against the blazer because I had a leather jacket that I wanted to stud and I was so excited. I had done it right before my trip so I was like, oh, I'm bringing this kind of thing. So I kicked out that blazer real quick and brought in the studded leather jacket. Next, I just really didn't need two blue button downs. So I picked my favorite one. I didn't need a denim jacket because I actually only was planning to wear it one time and who needs that? And then I had like a gray long sleeve, like thinner sweater, but I also had a red one already and a, a gray like kind of tank top sweater. So I was like, I already have a gray vibe, so I won't really need that. And then for the bags, I ended up going with my more houndstooth bag because I felt like it gave a little bit more texture to my outfits and the black one obviously is a staple probably could have used it but it also wasn't a crossbody and I wanted that for my daytime stuff so I wasn't holding it on my shoulder all day and so at night I knew I'd probably just gravitate towards the houndstooth one and then for the red bag which I was pretty sold on wearing most of the time I actually did not need because it doesn't zip and obviously in Europe you want to be careful with your belongings and make sure that you're not yeah I don't know like Ooh, getting pickpocketed oh pickpocket you know you know the vibes so I decided that was a little bit dangerous so I said okay never mind red bag rude and then I had decided to keep my cheetah flats because I felt like they brought more to my outfits than my silver ballet flats plus I knew they were more comfortable because they didn't rub on my heels they're just a mule so slide in I actually didn't wear them as often as I would like to have because it was raining all the time and then for the heels, I liked these because they were a little bit lower, but they were more of a pump versus a block heel. And I had a block heel with a strap across the front, so I knew I could walk further distances in that. Didn't really end up wearing heels at all. Only one night. And then lastly, the tennis shoes were my like rain tennis shoes, which I decided, I don't need two pairs of tennis shoes, Mallory. It probably won't rain that bad. Regrets, honestly, because my Sambas, which I paid way over market price, soaking wet absolutely drenched like to the point where we had to stuff our like shoes with towels to get them to dry and by the time I got on the airplane I was like well good thing I just bought a new pair of silver ones also there's an entire haul of everything that I actually purchased there so check that out um in my shopping video so then the cheetah pants I also was like I don't know if I really need to do this like I'm gonna be taking a lot of photos I already have worn these cheetah pants twice on my feed so it's like maybe a little particular to me as a person but I decided the cheetah pants could wait for winter time when I had like further distance on my grid. I'm sorry, I'm admitting things. I'm being honest, okay? I decided that's the reason I didn't need the cheetah pants. So then I added, we had decided to go to Moulin Rouge like pretty close to right before the trip. Like, and I thought, okay, I could do like a little mini skirt there, but I already was wearing the mini skirt to tea. So I decided I should wear a dress and I have this polka dot dress that I think is just so comfortable. I knew it was towards the end of the trip, which, you know, bloating, not feeling great. I probably didn't even want to get a picture there like because I don't really think they do pictures so I was like oh we'll get maybe a few little ones as a family like for memories but this doesn't need to be like a whole outfit moment so I just did my polka dot cutie and then when I was there I was gonna wear my black leather jacket but my sister was like I really like it with the tan so we'll get to that eventually but I added that tan studded jacket and then I threw in a tank top because I wear a lot of white layering and I was like what if I stain it what if it smells after a little bit like you can wear it for one day maybe and you might like yeah you can wear it a couple times but 
you know, to be safe, I was like, mm, I'll throw in a little tank top. And then again, I already talked about this leather blazer. This one's from my actual one is not this, but I get similar items. So that's a little fun fact. So obviously your exact item is probably not always going to be as a flat lay, but you can just Google search and say flat lay, leather blazer, gold button, and boom, bomb on comes up and who cares? It's similar enough you get the vibe you can imagine what your closet will look like and how your outfit will look like just by you know having a little outline and then i already talked about the shoe and so i added those two bags i really did not need that purple bag i think i wore it one night it does not fit anything but it was super flat on the top and i was like what if i want to not wear my blue heavier like crossbody bag so i just tossed it in but it was kind of a last minute you know situation and then at the end miscellaneous i brought two pairs of pajamas and i also wanted like a cute picture at the first hotel and this little black set i had ordered for literally the trip because i was like well what if there's like a balcony or some kind of photo i could take like walking out i don't know just girly things of course that never happened because timing you know you gotta get ready and people gotta shower and so one day one day i'll get my little paris pick or my london pick in a cute bathroom with that PJ set and then I had those a Henley top and like a cargo sweatpant on the plane there and then I wore the same pants back kind of gross kind of don't care could be worse right so that's how I packed everything and then I had my go-to never full Louis Vuitton bag that I have had since I graduated college it was my graduation gift and it just really can pack everything I really didn't bring that many toiletries because I knew there would be shampoos and stuff and I just had like a small dish for my moisturizer versus the whole thing and like you know q-tips small utensils I have like a travel pouch that I bring so I threw that in there threw in my makeup bag within my makeup bag I threw in my hair brushes things like that one curling iron and you know socks undies those types of situations you gotta have obviously and it it all worked out and I knew I wanted to leave mm, 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 enough room so that I could of course shop and then the other thing i did was pack a tote bag just in case i over shopped you know and needed some kind of bag to carry my sister is a shopping like addiction or something because the girl had to go buy a new suitcase because she had so many clothes and she literally wore the same outfit every night i was like if we traded closets i'd have a shoe for every outfit it's fine jealousy jealousy so then let me tell you obviously you saw some of my inspos like connected to the initial outfit inspos and then for my outfit inspo i went on pinterest and just found girls and cute outfits that i had similar items to that i thought i could really like easily update and they are more of those core basics like trench coats blue button down mini skirt gray cardigans like red cardigans i had one of those you know a little boucle lady jacket there were so many things that i wish i could have brought but it just wasn't gonna fit and it would be a one-time wear so i really had to edit myself down and be realistic do you know what i mean and then for pictures i also through pinterest like wanted pictures to show my mom to be like when we were doing this can you take a picture of us walking like that kayla this morning i want to take a picture like this at the tuileries like just fyi and little pictures like oh at the tourist stand like those are cool for the photo dump you know this is kind of embarrassing to talk about but i don't care so then yeah obviously not all these photos were taken it was more inspo for in the moment like if i needed to go back and reference to show my family because they're not like content people so they don't know exactly the angles or vibes to get but with a little imagery you can help you can help those around you get the things that you want right so that concludes all my outfit inspos and how i prepped to pack and what i actually packed and what i ended up not packing and then i'll take you to what i actually wore so i am gonna do a try on haul in next week's video and that will be uploaded quickly but if you are like i cannot wait i cannot wait on my ltk i posted already a few months ago exactly every outfit where i wore it to and links to similar items so you can check that out if you like i hope you guys found this so helpful i feel like it helped me a lot and i think if you can make the time you should because you will end up saving time do you know what i mean like the more prepared you can be the less unprepared prepared you are in a stranded situation aka a perfectly fine hotel room or whatever when you're overseas so or on your trip or anything i think this applies for anything like i might do this for the christmas holidays it's it's simple right and let me know if you enjoyed kind of the behind the scenes of like a content creator you know i wouldn't say it whatever i'm not dumbing myself down i am a content creator do i have 100 million followers no nah. will i one day maybe maybe i just need to get more organized 
Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, especially if you enjoyed this video because more to come. And check out my channel. I would love to hear from you guys. Comment things that you want to see. I'm like brainstorming these days before going into holiday time. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. New videos every week. Okay, love you. Bye.